Hey, come to the Bible to tell, so today I've got another lightsaber unboxing. And this one has just come, come out in the past few weeks. Um, I got this on uh, the same day as I got Luke Skywalker and Kitsu Sun. And the this one is cool. This one is, uh, I was hoping I have to do um, this one. Is Count Dooku. Yes, it is Darth Ty Tyranus. And this is the third, this is third team in the third in the series. This is the recently made um one. Um. All right. They have a tattoo on me. I mean, I put that there. So, let's open this thing up. And I'll have a look at it. Wow. Wow. And wow. It's almost like um, a Star Adventure story book again. So, here is Count Dooku. Okay. Dark Tyrannus himself. Again, more instructions. Um, this is going to protect you. Cardboard. There's more stuff in here. Now I want this why the box is so heavy. Okay. one on stand faces red. Here is my Bailey's key, which I will get to um, head, head dasher to help me put the batteries in. Right, because you know, so boy, I'm not very good when it comes to doing the screwdrivers and whatnot. Here is my, here is the end of it. Now and that's not a box, but I said, wait, wait, this is heavy. And I said, well, it's a pretty heavy blind. But now I'm thinking I why, because this thing's heavy, heavy as. I'm really, really heavy. 
heavy. <laughs> Feel that. Um, uh, Holy dolly. That's why I want to watch this over. Then, here's the other way. Now we're going to get, get my triple A batteries and put them in. Now, this is, of course, is the hilt and the blade. <laughs> so, like, like with um, Ventress, the activation switch is here on the, on the board, which I think for Dooku, this works. For Dooku, this works quite a lot. And, um, yeah. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, Count Dooku was a Jedi Master before he left the Order, order and became um, Darth, Darth Thomas. Uh, he was the apprentice of Master Yoda. And he was also the master of Qui-Gon Jinn and um, he was very very good with lightsabers, very skilled with lightsabers. He, um, he preferred the lightsaber technique of Form 2, of form two. and um, he was very good, um, I, he actually killed a lot of Jedi in, during his time as a sheep. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's a... You can definitely tell it's a replica. Well, yeah, he got gold boots. Right here. And I see what it is. So that might be how we'll be told with this thing. It's good if it does not change to where we talk about it very well. Good little car buttons and stuff, isn't it? It's very weird and a little bit annoying. Um, we, had, we had this problem before with um, the watches one. So this of course is a bottom This is where your sound and your speaker will come out. Oh.
sometimes. I mean, let's quit out this one. I have a. Sometimes. So, what happens is, on that page, this gets caught. Because now uh, this isn't big enough to go over, and then when you stick it back on, it gets more high to stick it back on. Because this time uh, isn't made big enough to go over. So that's the problem, which is a real pain. pain. Yes. Well, pain in the butt, because you think, oh no, am I going to break it and whatnot, but no, you're actually not going to break it. It's just, um, how the color of it is. That but in of course we've got there with keep fish size. Spring me by the side always faces the spring in the plus side faces the other way. And sometimes they got batteries that way for a corporate, which is quite um, annoying. Yeah, yeah, now I join. But now. And you see the screws out just a tiny bit. There you go. Now all we're gonna do is just tighten the screw back out. That'll be itchy nubs. And then um once the screw is tightened. We can then pop them in. Now there is full arrow right here. Bit hard to see. But what we're doing. We 
because that is sitting in. Well, Get this turn it, turn, turn. She is mm -hmm. all we do is You're a boy from death. And this is cool. This is awesome. This is amazing. Of it. This truly is a replica of Kanduku. Just like the, the craftsmanship of the hilts of the divide are the same. But just the hilt of this. It feels so nice to grip. It's just truly is rem remarkable. Now, in a way, what this bit here is, um, Duke will actually stab people with this, with that metal part. That's what I like you for. But wow, this. This is cool. This is absolutely beautiful. I think that is a bit hard to see. I think I in here, but what we do is we're going to take this outside and we're going to um, show you what it looks like um, in the dark, outside at night. What I do, what I do is, is I want to show you um, the stand. 
just like um, this Avengers. Uh, it comes with the same skin as what Avengers does. Um, so of course, when I do get my own place, and I get a camera, I will be putting it all these up on display. Uh, that's a, like a given. What we're gonna do is we can just put this in here. Now I've got, you know, I've got to make the Which, which, um, I so this is how the steam works is a quick if you here This piece. Here. Hmm. That's what the same will look like. Yeah. I can't on this time I'll look at the box just to see how we actually balanced it without like I can't go a wall. I kinda of have to move a bit to And probably uh, is it smart? Um balancing Nicely on the skin. So Here's what it looks like on the machine. Look from the engine. Wait, um, I see the switch. Turn off the light. And I will. Yay! Alright. <laughs> How awesome does that look on the scene? It, it, this truly is an elegant light table. This is one of the most elegant light tables I've actually got. 
can't freestyle if my favorite in terms of why I can handle it and will it with this one. <laughs> this one is my favorite place and how it actually looks and how it actually um just sits here on the spine. If I if I if, if I ever get, get um like a man type of model, I will definitely have these in a display cabinet that's like not an O'Brien. An O'Brien, I will definitely have these on display in a cabinet. Um, but seriously, apart from the noise. If you want a nightlight, that is probably going to like look cool and probably scare the crap out of someone if they ever try and break in your house and I hear one of these, you're probably definitely going to start, to start one. Especially if you can't, can't do a good one. But this literally does look amazing. We're going to take this outside later on tonight and we're going to show you how, I'm going to show you how it looks in the dark and how cool this thing is to actually full or um, wield and use uh, because outside I've got a much bigger space outside I know this because damaging the blade itself I'll point, a, I'll point holes in my um, man's wall because I want to see one thing and see what you may have in my wall holes in my walls to close my um, lightsaber. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. But so what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and we're going to follow this up and see how cool it looks. Um, quick note, um, you will really see me use these as props in my, um, in my YouTube videos covering the, um, the white tape, the movies. So I'll have, um, depending on which movie I'm watching, I will have a lightsaber for each of those that is seen in one of those movies, um, I will have that lighter on display um, in the background so I might all be just be holding it in my hand while I'm doing the review. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, like, subscribe, share the video. Um, I've got I've got other Kenobi's on the way, it's still in the US in their postal service. You had to get them sent because of COVID 19 restrictions over there. Over there. They wouldn't send it overseas. It's beyond me, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going up some of this. So let's go outside and we'll definitely uh, check this out.